yeah. week than they did last week. Why is that? Oh man, um, you know, Coach Coach Smith, you know, he he made a statement and um you know, once Coach Smith makes a statement, you know, we, we, we got our number was called. So, uh, you know, we pretty much had to step it up and we went out there and, you know, started from play one. What was that statement? What did they say to you guys? Just make it a physical game. Um, you know, it starts up front, you know, um, with both offensive line and defensive line. So, um, you know, our number was called and, you know, we answered. You faced such a tough pass rusher in Everson Griffin last week. What were you able to take from that experience and apply here facing yet another yeah. really tough pass rusher? Just, just reps. Um, you know, it, it is the NFL. I mean, it's the best of the best. You know, he's a, he was a Pro Bowl player. I mean, you know, uh, it's, it's, obviously I don't like losing, but, um, you know, he, he, he beat me on a great move. And, you know, that's all credit to him and the work that he does. But, um, yeah, you know, like I said, just reps, just being able to go out there and, and you know, practice and everything and then continue, you know, in the game. Um, it, it, it helps a lot in just being able to build on that. Plays later, though, you had that deep 40-yard pass. James had that deep 40-yard pass to yeah. Vincent Jackson, though, and he stood nice and tall and, and yeah. what seemed to be an airtight pocket, though. Right. So you're not making the same mistake twice. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, you know, you got to be able to battle, um, you know, learn from your mistakes and go from there. And, uh, you know, that's what I did. I bounced back pretty well and, uh, you know, went, went on from there. Penalties. They seem to snowball on you guys with 12 in the first half. Oh man, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I have no idea. All I know is every other, you know, <laughs> drive it was a penalty. But uh, you know, we're gonna get back to the film and, and see what's going on, and uh, you know, just go from there. Did you see progression from Jameis? Not only Jameis, but the other rookies on the offense tonight, you and Allie. Oh man, I don't know. I mean, I can only speak for myself because you know, I, it's not like I'm looking at them. Um, but, uh, you know, I'm pretty sure they've done pretty well. Um, you know, they prepare for it all week. Um, and, you know, the coaches do a great job in, you know, preparing us. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm pretty sure they, you know, progress pretty well. How was it to play your race? Yeah. Oh, man, it was great. Uh, great atmosphere. Um, you know, I'm from Penn State. We don't have a lot of fireworks in Canada. So uh, it's pretty cool to hear all of that. But, uh, yeah, you know, it was great. And, you know, um, to be able to open it up with a win is, is, is just, you know, great. And to be able to build on that is, is the plan. What's it been like going up against some of these tough pass rushers? I mean, I was looking at your preseason schedule, mm -hmm. and it's like, think of all these front sevens that you're having to go yeah. up against, and you're having to learn really quickly, yeah. too. I mean, you've had Minnesota, yeah. obviously with Griffin, as I mentioned, and then tonight, Gino Atkins, uh, mm -hmm. Carlos Dunlap, mm -hmm. all those guys. And then you're going to be facing Miami in that fourth preseason yeah. game as well. And, and Cleveland, uh, it's a pretty good team, too. Right. Yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's the game. You know, that's it's the NFL. You know, you get the top, top athletes in the, in the world, mm -hmm. um, you know, playing our sport. And, uh, you know, it's just going to be, you know, one of those things you're going to be able to go out there and then, you know, you're going to win some, you lose some, but be able to fight throughout the whole game and, and do do your job. What's been the biggest adjustment for you going from playing in college to the NFL? Oh, man, um, mentally the speed. Um, you know, when you get with the older guys, you it's just no time to think. You got to go with it. So, uh, you know, to be able mentally, I, I say the speed um, mentally is, is definitely one of the big and differences. I, and I've had guys, I mean, like I know Austin Spurrier and Jacob last year, yeah. he said that Jerome Roy is the scariest guy. <laughs> yeah, that's very true. Flying around the edge are no joke either. This is very true. Yeah, you know, it's like I said, it's the best of the best. You got guys, you know, running, running a four, five, four, six, you know, charging at you full speed, and you're, you know, backpedaling. Um, so, uh, you know, it's just one of those things. You just, you know, perfect your craft, work at, and practice, and uh, you know, you just trust it.